What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. 504 Man Fragrance Reviews here. Coming at you with another first impression video. Today, uh, my first impression is going to be Sweet Tobacco Spirits 1821 Man Made. Uh, I'm a lover of tobacco fragrances and the just the title of this fragrance drew me in. I've never had a chance to put my nose on it before. To be honest with you, I don't even know what the notes are in it. I haven't even looked them up. I know a lot of people in the Facebook groups have gotten this. Um, they love it. Um, I like the way the bottle looks. So I, I did um, get a decant from, uh, from Deb over at Swift Sense. I checked them out for all your decant needs. I received it today. Um, I have sprayed it on my hand. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I think of it. Um, I don't get tobacco out of it. Uh, I think I think the name may be a little misleading. Um, I think you may think you're getting a tobacco out of it. I think it's I think this Tonka bean in it, which I think is what maybe drives it toward a tobacco. It's a little woodsy uh, to it, which kind of gives off a tobacco vibe. But there's a surprising element I, I, I'm, I'm finding in here. I'm getting a um, I'm getting a, a wine, almost like a like a red wine in the background. I, I, like I said, I, I don't I don't I haven't looked at the notes before. I'm just let, telling you what I'm finding in the first impression. But as a lover of tobacco fragrances, I would definitely put this on my tobacco shelf. This is a phenomenal scent. The red wine, if that's what's in it, this, the red wine in here, um, or the wine accord or the wine notes, something, a, a fruity wine type note I'm smelling here mixed with the Tonka bean and the woods works. It's a sweet scent. It, it's not overpowering uh, to where it's, it's uh, nauseating sweet, nauseatingly sweet. It's, it's, it's almost just right. And that, that, that fruity wine accord that I'm, I'm smelling really drives this home. I made a mistake. I didn't get this bottle for Black Friday. I think it was only 50, 50 something dollars. I should have pulled the trigger on it. But I thought it might have been a redundant scent, being that I have uh, Naxos, Pure Havan, um, some clones. Um, I have Insurrection 2 Wild up here. So I thought it might have been a redundant buy. I, that was my mistake. I should have bought that bottle. Uh, I guess I'll learn from that. This is this is on the same lines as those, but it's different. The fruity wine accord that I'm smelling here makes those different. Makes it different from the ones I just mentioned. I definitely will get a full bottle of this. I definitely will wear this a lot, especially right now in the winter time um, down in Louisiana. Right now we're in the 50s. Uh, last few mornings has been in the 30s. Uh, 20, feeling like the 20s with the wind chill. This is perfect for that. It's a good Christmas scent. This, this, this might even, this might even make the Christmas wear this year. Yeah, good scent. Very good scent. Hey, if if you've tried this, comment down below. Let me know what you think of it. Um, I'm gonna kind of wait in the comments before I go ahead and read the notes, and you let me know in the comments if if. If what I'm smelling, I'm correct about. Hey, look, stop, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Always uh, hit the red button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Join my Facebook group page. Very fun. Meet a lot of new people. A lot of scents of the day. A lot, of, a lot of good fragrance talk. Just a lot of good stuff going over there. Follow me on Instagram, 504 Man Reviews. I really appreciate it. I put a lot of content out over there. It's just overall good time. Get together and talk about fragrances. Hey, like I always say, keep smelling good. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your time. Peace.